All right, welcome back to West Coast Games here. Uh, we are continuing our series on opening the Alpha Investments uh, 6.9 anniversary boxes, mass box opening here. We are on box one, so if, uh, if you want to, go guess at the different weights. We have the weights here, 2 pounds, 14 ounces. Uh, we weighed all eight of the boxes we're going to open. And you can go back and guess at kind of which one is going to have the best goodies in here. So one of the things I want to do is just kind of mess with these uh, seals here to kind of see if uh, basically how, uh, you know, proof they are per se. It's supposed to be these security locks that say void once you open them, so... See, don't think you can do it that way. No, it's gonna say void once. So we're just gonna open this one. We'll mess with this later. So we are opening box one here. This is my personal first box opening with this. I'm gonna put this off to the side. Actually, I'll just leave it there for you guys to look at later. All right, so we got the Alpha Investments, a uh, nice little protection thing here. And we got our pins here. So let's see what we got. And we're looking for something that ends in 69. So that's 2980. I'm gonna put these off to the side here. And I think this is the one that you really get something good if you get a 69 here. So that is 715. Dumpster fire. This one gets you like a empty packs of fallen empires or something. 329. Nothing on that one. Tacos. I think this gets you a subscription to Taco Bell. 1055. Greed Monster. 708. And then the big Alpha Investments logo here. 2212. All right. So we're going to get rid of this top layer here. We got our two custom flesh and blood dice, the 6.9. All right. We have the Rudy's Nice Metal. This is in every pack. Put that off to the side. These are the flesh and blood cards. And I just looked it up. These, are these foiled? They kind of look like they're foiled. You see that? These I just looked up and they're selling on the market as a pair for a little over $100 with the signed and the extra one here. So just put those off to the side. A morning tide pack. I'm just going to throw it off to the side because there's really nothing of value in those. All right. So remember, if we remember right, this is the one of the lightest um, boxes. So this one has, oh, this is the Rudy Claws. So the one that ended up weighing 2 pounds, 14 ounces, I'm going to bring it on this side here, ended up having the Rudy Claws card in there. Looks really nice. If you saw the background here, the mat is a lot of my PSA graded uh, 10 Rudy cards. These are the backs for the pins. Let's see what this is. This looks like some sort of foil pack is this. I-A-K-O collectors Japanese. I have no idea what this is actually. I So I'm a magic player. I've been playing since end of 93. Uh, Halloween 93, I bought, or Thanksgiving in 93 rather, got a unlimited starter. And that was my journey into magic. My brother, my cousin, and I. So let's see what these are. These are four cards again this is a iko collector japanese accelerator pack uh 
I don't even know what that is. Go ahead, in the comments, go ahead and comment on what this is, because I don't know. Zero two creature for one artifact. Got me. Uh, oh, these are the Ikoria collector's packs. Got it. I still don't know. Sorry. Oh, I got two of the same card. One foil, one non-foil. I got three of the same card. So this Ikoria collector's pack had one rare, three commons. So that was uh, pack one. So the winner was definitely this bad boy. Uh, again, this is roughly a hundred-ish dollars raw. Uh, and then these flesh and blood sign, they look foil uh this pair usually sells for about 100 ish so all right and that is box one